गुड मॉर्निंग लर्नर्स टूडे आई गोइंग टू डिस्कस बी एट थर्ड सेमिस्टर पेपर टू दैट इज एथिक्स यूनिट नंबर वन द नेम ऑफ द यूनिट इज नेचर एंड स्कोप ऑफ एथिक्स वाइल डिस्कसिंग दिस यूनिट वी आर गोइंग टू डील विद सम क्वेश्चन दैट दे आर वॉट इज एथिक्स दैन वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन द नेचर ऑफ एथिक्स एंड वील डिस्कस द स्कोप ऑफ एथिक्स नाउ वेन ए बाई वर्स सींग अबाउट मोरलिटी मोरलिटी इज समथिंग which is deals with some questions morality always deal with some questions and the questions are why we moral how moral can we in non ideal world are we morally uh, are we moral by nature are moral judgments true uh, these are some of the questions we are often found to be associated with the uh, the subject called ethics now if we see the definitions of ethics then we'll find that there are different definitions which are presented by different philosophers okay now first we have to know the etymological meaning of the term ethics the particular word ethics it is also has a different terminology that is morality okay now ethics is derived from a greek word ethic ethos okay and it also derives from a latin word mores mores actually morality the term moral moral comes from the latin word ethics uh, mores and the greek term it uh, greek from the greek term ethos the word ethics has been derived okay now what is the meaning of the term ethos and what is the meaning of the term mores if we we'll see uh, the meaning of these two terms we'll find that the meaning of these two terms are same and that is way of living okay now a way of living and it also studies about customs now ethics is a branch of philosophy why it is a branch of philosophy because it is something which is concerned with human conduct now uh, it consists in a code of conduct of human being living in this uh, in this society that means if we are to live in this society we have to follow certain uh, rules or we have to follow certain norms or we have to so uh, follow certain code of conduct and that is what uh, what ethics is actually now uh, what ethics examines ethic examines rationally all the human beings are rational and by rational justification with the help of rational justification morality tries to see what is wrong or what is uh, right or what is just or what is unjust it also deals with certain terms that what is good what is bad and ethics is what if we'll see we'll find that ethics is an attempt to guide human conduct and it is also an attempt to help man in leading good life by applying moral principles there are certain moral principles which are given by uh, ethicians or philosophers and with the help of which by with the help of following which we can we can lead a good life now ethic prefers to well we uh, well based standard of right and wrong that prescribe that human ought to do usually in terms of right and obligations uh, obligation benefit to society fairness our specific virtues we have to follow certain virtues we have to determine what is right and wrong and we have to apply certain norms actually ethics teaches us actually what we should do or we ought to do okay we ought to do it is a big question uh, it is a main questions or it is a main system which ought ethics we is to follow now ethics is something which is related to property rightness or wrongness uh, what is right is ethical and what is wrong is unethical that means right and wrong both are ethical terms but if we'll do something right then it will be considered as ethical and if we'll do something wrong then it will be considered as unethical the word proper fair and just are some of the words which are used to uh, this declare a particular action to be an ethical one now if it is uh, an if an action is an ethical one or it is right or proper fair or just then uh, they are they, they can be regarded to be an ethical one that means if a uh, particular action will have to uh, is right or it is in uh, it is done in a proper way or it is fair or it is just just means uh, if it is something which is related to justice then it is always an ethical one that means ethics is a matter of practical concern it always tries to determine the good and 
right thing to do. Choices regarding right and wrong, good or evil, and uh, questions of obligations and value. Uh, it is one of the most important point which is found in terms of ethics is ethics always concerned with values. Okay, ethics is something which has a relation with value and value is something which has always relation with ethics. That means with the help of ethical values, we can have a good life and we can have a good life not only for us, but we can give a good life to other people associated with us. Now, it is also yeah, so far as ethics is concerned, it can be also defined as the science of highest good. Here I am using the term science. Okay. Now, whenever we are saying about science, science is something which is a systematic study of any particular thing. That means ethics is something which is a systematic study. Now, Mackenzie, uh, he defines ethics as the study of what is right or wrong, good in human conduct or the science of the ideal involved in human life. So, it is clear that ethics is the study which determines rightness or wrongness of action. Another branch of ethics which is regarded as applied ethics. Applied ethics is the practice of ethics that aims to guide the moral judgment governing the decisions we make in all areas of our lives. Issues of right and wrong are related to one's value. That means what if we we'll say it is right, that means it is something which is uh, which is which actions will do something which is valuable and if will do so wrong that means out of it our va uh, values will not be come out it is context of in the context of ethics values are our standard of right and wrong now uh, we have to know what is the nature of ethics it is very important for us or, or you to know actually what is the nature of ethics or what ethics aims for okay now ethics is something which aims at systematic knowledge and so ethics is a science i have already said that ethics is a science and if something is to be uh, uh, something is to be come under the category called science then it must have to be a systematic study of that particular subject that means ethics is something which is a systematic study of uh, study of a particular thing what is studies what it studies it studies about values okay every science is concerned with a particular sphere of nature now about what uh, about which ethics actually deals with then we'll find that as a science ethics has its own particular sphere it deals with certain judgments that we make about human conduct okay it or uh, that means judgments those judgments are uh, which ethics actually used to uh, give they are related to human conduct it deals with systematic explanation of rightness or wrongness wrongness in the light of the highest good of man if we'll say something right or something bad in any way that will not be an ethical one okay then when ethics deal, uh, ethics will uh, study something something or it will determine whether that particular action can be regarded to be a right or wrong that then that means it will have to be explained in a systematic systematic manner okay now it is regarded that ethics is a normative science now what is normative science normative science is something which is different from practical science okay that means whenever we are saying about normative science normative science is something which deals about norms or certain rules but so far as practical science is concerned it always deals with uh, facts okay now if we'll see that uh, whenever we are saying about ethics ethics or morality is something which is concerned with what ought to be done rather than what is the case okay will not deal how uh, if something is to already has been done okay that is a factual fact that is a fact that is a fact and that is an empirical fact but ethics is not interested in that but ethics what ethics actually do ethics tries to do whether we had we should or had been done that particular action or not it differs from that is why it is different from practical science or positive science uh, positive science is something which uh, is always regarded to be a natural science a uh, positive science is like physics chemistry biology math uh, mathematics those are regarded to be positive science because they always deal with something which is factual 
on the uh, the natural science or descriptive science is concerned with what it is but so far as ethics is concerned it is not concerned with what it is but what ought to we ought to do natural science deals with facts and explain them by their causes in positive sciences there is no question of judging its object in any way but so far as ethics is concerned it does not deal with fact rather it deals with the value that means uh, we'll find that so far as ethics is concerned it deals with judgment of value while positive science is something which deals with judgment of facts it is the important point of difference between positive science and normative science okay positive science deals with the judgment of facts and ethics is something which deals with the judgment of value and that is why ethics is not a positive science but a normative science normative ethics deals with standards or norms by which we can judge human actions to be right or wrong uh, as for example you see logic aesthetics these subjects are also uh, cons considered as normative sciences why because logic aesthetic this uh, subjects these subjects also are something which is related with value but not with facts now uh, logic and aesthetic is concerned with truth and beauty truth is a value and beauty is also a value that's why these subjects are also regarded to be normative science because ethics is something which is always related with value that's why it is also regarded to be a normative science and not a positive science so truth beauty and values are the three ideals of logic aesthetics and ethics respectively ethics is not a practical and practical science and practical science deals with means for the realization of an end or ideal so far as practical science is concerned we'll find that practical science teaches us to know how to do as for instance media sci media science is a practical science okay but so far as uh, logic uh, ethics is concerned ethics is not a practical science it concerns with the means in order to remove the causes of ailment or diseases but uh, again we will find, uh, find some uh, other kind of, uh, kinds of sciences like medical science medical science is a practical science because it always try uh, if you are suffering from something medical science is always try to find out a solution to get rid of the those suffering and that is a practical science but ethics is not concerned with means in order to achieve moral ideal that is rightness or wrongness okay it does not teach us how to live a moral life and so ethics cannot be regarded as a practical science again we'll find that ethics is not an art ethics deals uh, ethics does not deal uh, does not teach us or uh, it is not a uh, it is not a subject that how it, it will not teach us how to lead a normal life okay rather it helps us to justify rightness or goodness which can lead to the supreme goal of human life and that is to realize samambhanam of human life so what is the samambhanam of uh, human life that is the uh, supreme good which is regarded to be the supreme good of human life okay now what is can what can be the supreme good for ev each and one every human being or human life that is the uh, how we can give the supreme good to each and every human being or the highest uh, level of highest number of human being that is the question of an uh, that is the question of ethics so ethics is not uh, not a means to the highest ideal of human life but so far as practical science art uh, those are concerned it also means for obtaining a goal so ethics is neither a practical science nor an art again okay, so far as uh, one question will ask that what actually art conduct or uh, what a uh, what is there uh, what is there any art or uh, art of conduct what is the art of conduct the answer we can give this answer in the way that in case of morality this is not true uh, uh, so i'm what i'm going to say is that yes uh, can we regard it to be the can we regard ethics to be a 
art of conduct but the answer is no ethics is not the art of conduct art specially deals with the acquisition of skill to produce objects while morality deals with motive intention purpose and choice which are considered right or wrong in the light or uh, light of goodness that means what is our motive what is our intention what is our purpose what is our choice to do a particular action this is very important so for us ethics sometimes we can do something and maybe its result is not that bad or uh, immediate result of that is not bad but our motive is not good then it cannot be regarded to be an ethical one that's why so far as ethics is concerned uh, motive intention purpose and choice is very important but so far as art or practical science is concerned here these questions will never arise therefore morality consists of goodness which is really an intrinsic good a norm or ideal in this ethical sense is defined as any uh, regulatory principle that control or lays guidelines to thought and mode of act, uh, action ethics is a science of values as it discovers the forms of conduct or behavior which have the character of oughtness ethics deals with moral phenomena and it observes and classified uh, classified them and explain them by moral ideals it uh, so far as ethics is concerned we'll find that ethics or morality is something which always try to distinguishes moral judgment from logical judgments and aesthetical aesthetic, uh, aesthetical judgment and reduce them to a particular system so uh, we may define the nature of ethics as scientific because it always tries to systematize the way of thinking to a ethical one it always try to try find out what is good or what is bad it always try to uh shape us shape our way of thinking that means uh, it, uh our motive our intention our choice what should be our choice what should be our motive what should be our in uh, purpose all these are if we think it ethically then all those things will uh, will become under a particular systematic order uh however from another perspective all sciences also lead to philosophical questions if we take philosophy to be a quest of knowledge that is why ethics is a branch of philosophy why ethics is a branch of philosophy because all the perspective of sciences also lead to philosophical questions if we take philosophy to be a quest of knowledge okay now what should be a right way to think this is also a come under quest of knowledge okay that is why ethics is also come under the branch of philosophy will not find a clear cut boundary clear cut boundary between science and philosophy again between descriptive science and normative science also and between ethics and philosophy also it is not very easy to find out a definite or clear cut distinction a norm is more than a description and so far as ethics is concerned it is always related with a norm and not with description now while philosophies have become more scientific and sciences have become more philosophical the distinction between science and philosophy and between value science like ethics and general philosophy is a matter of degree the way ethics is both scientific and philosophical both descriptive and normative science are both pure and apply pure ethics and meta ethics that means if we we'll see about uh, ethics we can find that ethics can also be divided into certain groups pure ethics meta ethics and we'll find that there is another branch of ethics that is called applied ethics now uh, we have already said that ethics is a art as it sets guideline for practical conduct and also for understanding the meaning of what it is to act of an ethical manner ethics is concerned with goodness as an ultimate value while some other uh, normative sciences like aesthetic and logic are so uh, or oriented to the ideal of beauty and truth respectively we have already said that so far as it ethics is concerned it always regard uh, related with value ethics is something which is relation with only 
value okay now but other uh, other normative sciences have relation with some other things now if we enter into a discussion regarding what is the nature of ethics uh, we will find that it would be a meta ethical question okay that means what is a what is the nature of ethics when we'll ask something about ethics or when ethical questions will uh, will come out about ethical about ethics then those will be those will come under meta ethics suppose what is good okay we have said that uh, goodness is one of the most important factor of ethics or one of the most important characteristic of ethics or if we'll say said uh, we are saying that rightness and wrongness are very uh, are the mo most important terms of ethics because uh, if we will have to determine something to be ethical first we have to give concentration on goodness rightness wrongness okay now if we'll ask what is rightness what is wrongness what is goodness this or what is the nature of ethics those questions will come under mathematics mathematics deals with this particular things okay when these questions are the main uh, part of mathematics although the distinction between morality and ethics is not clear cut it is not morally as such since it uh, thus is not so non thus is to lay down rules or guidelines of so do's and does not okay Ethics is a branch of philosophical discussion pertaining to morality or a philosophical critique of morality which is for which is far from laying down guidelines for behavior. A distinction must be made between ethics and morals or morality. Whereas ethics is a branch of philosophy concerned with moral values, the ethics or morals of morals of an individual or a groups are the values according to which they act. Every people, even the most uncivilized and uncultured, okay, most uh, uncivilized, uncultured, those terms have been given by us only, okay. Every people, including those whom we have regarded, we whom we used to regard to be uncivilized or uncultured, they also have their own morality, okay. They also follow certain morality. We uh, regard some people to be terrorist, okay. Now, Terrorists also have their own uh, own uh, kind of uh, morality, own theory of ethics. They follow them. According to them, this is they, uh, those actions are right or those actions are good or this, those actions will uh, give some good results. That's why they used to perform those actions. Okay. That's why it is said that every people, even the most uncivilized and uncultured, every rational people, I'm saying about every rational people, even the most uncivilized and uncultured has also have their own morality or some uh, some of pres uh, prescriptions which govern, it, uh, govern its moral conduct. Nature has no, uh, nature has so provided that each man established for himself a code of moral concept and principles which are applicable to the details of practical life without the necessity of awaiting the conclusion of science. Ethics is the scientific or philosophical treatment of morality. Okay. Now, if we have to discuss, uh, we will have to see what is the difference between ethics and morality. We will find that ethics is something which is the scientific or philosophical treatment of morality. That means, Every human being is a, every human being has morality, but that morality cannot be regarded may might not might not be regarded to be something which will be actually good for the human being or which will be good for the uh, good for everyone. That means that may not be the sum of 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 life or high supreme good of life. That is why the morality, which is actually philosophical, that is which is good for everyone, that can be regarded to be ethics okay that uh, ethics is the scientific or philosophical treatment of morality the subject matter of ethics is, pro uh, is proper is the deliberate free action of man for uh, for this alone are in our power and concerning this alone one can rule a good and better life now i'll come to scope of ethics what is the scope of ethics? The scope of ethics indicates its subject matter. 
okay that means what we study what we study on the ethics ethics as a normative science deals with the moral ideals or the good in order to anchor the nature of our conduct it anchors into the nature of the spring of action motive intention voluntary actions and so on so far as involuntary actions are concerned involuntary actions are actually spontaneous actions that is why uh, the concept called the morality or ethics will not come and will not have any relation with involuntary action but when our actions are voluntary that means with that action our motive our intentions are our choice everything is related that is why so far as ethics is concerned, ethics only studies about voluntary actions and not about involuntary action. When, are, when we are saying about freedom of choice, okay, when we are saying about freedom and determination, these particular terms will come under ethics and this will also fall under voluntary actions. It determines the rightness and wrongness of human actions. As a science of morality, ethics discusses the content of moral consciousness and the various problems of moral consciousness. Ethics is concerned with the highest good or the absolute good. And uh, according to uh, many one, uh, this highest good and the absolute good can be regarded, uh, can be related with, with God. It investigates the nature of fundamental uh, notions that is right, duty and good. Moral judgments, well, uh, whom we regarded to be moral judgment, they are passes on our voluntary actions and those are included within the scope of ethics. Okay, I have, I have already said to you that, say that so far as morality is concerned, moral, moral, uh, morality is always related with voluntary actions. Non-voluntary or involuntary actions have nothing to do with moral, uh, morality or ethics. In discussing the moral judgment, Ethics has also uh, ethics has also to concern with the nature, object, faculty, and standard of moral judgment. Moral judgments are uh, moral judgments are feelings are uh, arising or in our mind when we we are uh, so we are to do something. Okay, whenever we are to do something, we are to perform certain action. Then those moral judgments used to the questions of moral judgment will occur okay and regarding and which moral judgment the rightness and wrongness of those statements will also occur so in this unit in this unit we have already discussed about what is uh, actually ethics is or what is morality is and how ethics and morality are those same but has a slightest different and they are how related and what is the definition of ethics what is the nature of ethics and what is the scope of ethics so dear learners i think uh, you have understood the topic and in the next class we'll come with some other interesting topic of ethics for that thank you the scope and ethics includes uh, whatever has reference to free human act whether uh, whether our principles or cause of action like laws consciousness uh, concise virtue or as effect or circumstances of action merit punishment etc that means whenever we are saying about virtue and vice it will also come under ethics whenever we are saying about punishment okay or merit of a particular action it will also come under ethics ethics discusses the action of human freedom ethics investigate what is constitute good or bad just or unjust it is true that every human being has the uh, right to be free but up to what extent that freedom is acceptable or is their freedom is an ethical one or is their free uh, what can be our action when we are regarded to be a free a free entity those things are discussed under the scope of ethics it is also incurs into what is virtue law of consciousness and duty what obligation are common to all what is good in all good actions these questions lie within the scope of ethics the sense of duty oughtness or moral obligations and the responsibility for actions are also included within the nature of ethics now 
So far as the particular aspect under which ethics considered free acts is that is that of their moral goodness or the uh, attitude, you know, of, uh, by following which something is to be done. That means if a human action, uh, ethics is something which is totally related to the human action. When we are saying about moral judgments also, those moral judgments are also related to the human action. A man may be a good artist or a good orator, but at the same time, a morally, um, at the same time, he, it is not necessary that he is a good human being also. He, it may be the case that morally he is a bad man. We have seen that there are many good artists, there are many good uh, orators, there are many popular people but whom we don't consider to be a morally perfect person or morally good person whom I whom we consider although uh, uh, they are talented but still we consider that they are bad person why because their actions are not guided by morality ethics is ethics has merely to do with the order which related to man as man which makes him a good human being thus we find that Although, although ethics is not a guidebook of moral rules as a branch of philosophy, but ethics seeks to clarification of terms used in moral language. Okay, that means so far as our moral language is concerned, it teaches us to not it teaches us not to use some languages which can harm other. The meta ethical problems fall within the scope of philosophical aspect of ethics uh, because whenever uh, we are asking uh, we are discussing about the language okay our proper language or we are discussing about what should be the moral language it will also come under the category called meta ethics there are uh, other meta ethical discussions related to nature of moral judgments and the law uh, and the uh, moral judgment and they are very very important so far as ethics is concerned another dimension of ethics which is very important is called applied dimension of ethics which is known as applied ethics and that falls within the broad field of ethics uh, this comprises the areas of situational ethics which meta ethics deals with logical uh, while meta ethics deals with logical and semantic qu uh, questions related to ethics uh, like freedom and determination etc uh, met applied ethics deals with some practical aspects of life it deals with uh, some aspects like euthanasia abortion it deals with some other aspects of life like environmental ethics it uh, deals with some other important aspects of life like animal ethics okay so applied ethics is also a very very important branch of ethics now Ethics is something which is essentially related to all other branches of knowledge like sociology, political science, jurisprudence, law and legal study, psychology, anthropology, culture studies, ecology and environmental study, uh, economics, religion, aesthetics and other similar areas. Ethics is something which is concerned with political, sociological, cultural, psych uh, psychical, economic, environmental, religious problem in pursuit of highest good okay it will not study in a factual way but it will study all this subject in the pursuit of highest good so so far as ethics is concerned we'll find that these problems have an additional place in the scope of ethics with the emergence of new technology there is scope of uh, widening the scope of ethics to address new issues because you see with the help of with the uh, help of technology some other issues will also come up suppose uh, we are we we are discussing about cloning we know about stem cell research these topics are also come under ethical study in fact if you we'll see the uh, development of ultrasound machine you will see uh, find that the fetus fetus killing which we can regard it to be abortion it is abortion is somehow uh, when we are saying about sex selective abortion it has become possible only because of ultrasound machine so technology uh, has because of the in uh, because of the development of technology also some issues have been come out and where those issues have to be dealt with ethically 
now you see atom bomb is a sorry atom bomb is something which is a result of technology but its application it will not if its, its application will not be proper then what will be the case we have the example of hiroshima and nagasaki that's why ethical studies is very very important so in this unit in this unit we have already discussed about what is uh, actually ethics is or what is morality is and how ethics and morality are those same but has a slightest different and they are how related and what is the definition of ethics what is the nature of ethics and what is the scope of ethics so dear learners i think uh, you have understood the topic and in the next class we'll come with some other interesting topic of ethics for that thank you